I thought I put another uh, camera app on here, but I apparently didn't, so. Anyways, it is uh, 33 minutes into the 25th day of August. I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. I got a lot of uh, sound work to do. Uh, it's repairs on the sound system. Uh, some of the uh, clips have gone out in terms of the uh, connectors, and those have to be reseated, resoldered. Uh, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll start at 2 o'clock. I should be finished by 3, but I have to wait till the evening service around 7, 7.30 uh, to do what we'll call the live sound check. And this is how, this will let me know what it sounds like on the broadcast. I can do what's, what's in-house. I can hear what's in-house. It's just I have to wait for the broadcast in order to hear what's on the broadcast. And that will let me know whether I've done a good job or not, or there needs to be some uh, uh, adjustments made. So... Uh, as long as I know it's working in house, it's going to work on the broadcast. How it's going to sound on the broadcast is a little iffy. Uh, as long as it sounds okay on the broadcast, then we'll go. F then we'll go from there. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm now doing the YouTube stroll. I just got in. Uh, I was outside doing my observational work. I didn't. I didn't film out there. Oh. I didn't uh, do a transition, so I should have done a transition, but you, even if it's short, I should have done a transition, but I didn't do that. Uh, I'm just feeling tired, so I'm not Yowie Vlogs, and I was sort of thinking about the Yowie Vlogs today, is that in many cases, it doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not, you just have to keep, keep, keep going anyway, there are always going to be failures in your life, there are always going to be things that don't make you feel good. Uh, if you only wait for the moments that make you feel good, you're not going to get anything done. That's, that's as simple as it. You can't be afraid to fail. And failure is going to understand that failure is okay. Sometimes you're... Well, there are many times you're going to fail. And as a matter of fact, you're not going to get... There, there's no such thing as perfection. You're gonna, not, not going to get everything per perfectly. You will get it to a certain degree of, well, is this okay or is this satisfactory? Once you have that, then you have the rest of the sort of understanding that you can bring in. Uh, so that's kind of where I am right with about that. About that, uh, I'm going to sort of start the YouTube stroll today, right now, and then sort of move along, <laughs> so, so to speak. Well, it is uh, 12 hours and 51 minutes into the 25th day of August uh, 2021, and we've got several packages to open, so let's get to it. I've been waiting for these for a while. I've been tracking them. Fortunately, with the tracker, I, 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 I can know when they're going to arrive approximately. And so, uh, here we go. I have an idea of what they might be, although not exactly. <laughs> I just got up. Uh, a lot of times when it's this hot, it's like 85, 90 degrees. When it's that hot out, you can't do much of anything except for sleep. And the irony is, I got a, I never take a picture, but I should have. I might get another opportunity to do so uh, in a couple of days. Uh, it was a squirrel. Just uh, laid out uh, in the shade. You know, <laughs> on a branch inside of a tree, just sort of, you know, asleep, dead asleep, because here's the first package get rid of. Uh, because it was so hot out, he didn't want to move. <laughs> I've been having problems getting my Wi-Fi out where I am where you saw the last vlog uh, where I was outside. Uh, it's quite a bit of ways. And it's sort of the edge of the network. And so I want to extend the, ne the edge of the network to something larger. And hopefully that's going to be uh, these devices that are coming in now. Uh, I'm going to have to cut the package a little bit more. It's not coming out. Heat causes an expansion of things, and so things that normally would have come out when it was cold won't come out now. 
because it's very, very, very simply too hot. So here's the first package. Now these are supposed to give me 1,200 meters of uh, distance. So. Here you go. This is a Wi-Fi repeater. So that's the first thing I got. There should be another one of these in there. Uh, I bought the buy. I had to buy one or more because of the trailer now. Within my place up north, I always buy for uh, whatever I have. I have here. I have to have up north uh, in order for the network to work properly. And so, uh, a lot of times I have to buy double the thing, double the amount. So, let's get this out here. Uh, this is another package. Another package. Empty bag. So, two packages inside of a package. The best way to open it is on the side. I find, try to find where there's the most amount of space so when you cut into the bag you're not cutting into the actual uh, stuff and sometimes the wires are so thin that if you cut into it we'll uh, don't care uh, here we're looking we're looking at uh, new uh, uh, USB chargers there's four to four to a uh, a block and they're all uh, three amp uh, uh, load so this is going to make quite a bit of difference so yay for that so and then that means this one is the other uh, the other Wi-Fi repeater very well so it's good so the things don't come damaged but it takes a while to open it up because there's so much bubble wrap in there that it's hard to get it all open you know, very easily so let's get the uh, the the package off the outer wrapping and we'll work on the inner wrapping Scheduled to leave in just about an hour to go do some work on a sound system that uh, I had designed. So, ten years later, uh, time for upgrades, time for improvements. Yeah, it's the other, the other uh, Wi-Fi repeater, and hopefully I'll set this up tonight. And I'll have uh, more than enough power out where I sit. Right now, I'm right on the edge. There's not. There's. It, it, it does. It doesn't do what it's supposed to in terms of the network. Uh, so this will give me a better setup, if you will. And here we go. This is the uh, second one. It should be in black, but we'll, we'll sort of check this out and sort of see what we got. Uh, I'll have to make a report for the company that the items have come in, uh, but I won't, I'm not going to do that right now. I've got other things to do. And now we're going to go on to our final package opening. Uh, is this one here? I am pretty sure that these are the LED lights I ordered. There are lights out on the out. These are external lights. These are external LEDs. 
And I need these external LEDs because the lights on the outside of my trailer have gone out. And uh, I need these to uh, replace them. So this is going to be the replacement bunch. And so here we go. Here are the cord and the remote. Here are the actual LED. Here is the power. So we've got everything we need. Oh, my eyes got some of the uh, the, the uh, eye crust in it. So. Oh, I have to take care of that. <laughs> uh, that's the package opening for now. So we got it a fair bit. Uh, I'll let you know tonight. I'll probably vlog outside tonight and let you know how the uh, wi the new Wi-Fi adapter is working. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Uh, see you then. Well, it is uh, 28 minutes into the 26th day of August. 2021 and we're back on our couch again <laughs> looking at the alley vlogs it's on the screen behind me behind you actually uh, that's what I'm watching now I'm gonna watch some of uh, the alley vlogs on the YouTube stroll that's typically where I start off it's only if I if I have a if, I've, if I'm continuing along the uh, YouTube stroll then uh, I'm not starting at the alley vlogs It's been a very long day today. Uh, had some I issues with my health uh, that popped up uh, while I was working on the sound system. Uh, and uh, it cut close to two to three hours of my time out of, uh, out of what I had to do. So I'm going to have to go back again and sort of fix things up. It ended up as I, dig as I dug into things deeper that a lot more issues are popping up so it's gonna take me a while to sort of uh, get through everything uh, to the point where they need to be gotten through oh well that's neither here nor there um, we are back where we need to be we were back I uh, think comfortably on the couch Oh, as much as I like being out, I like being on my couch. I like watching the the, the Yowie vlogs. I like watching all the other vlogs. Uh, I don't mind having a conversation with the camera with you guys. Uh, for those few who are watching. Although, there are probably a lot more people watching than I expect, but... Hey. You can't really tell, because uh, YouTube suppresses the numbers for people like me, so... Uh, that's just kind of the way things go. Anyways, uh, we'll see what happens, uh, for the rest of the night. I'm, I'm hungry. I want to have something to eat. Uh, when I, typically when I go out, I don't eat anything. Uh, because it just makes the situation worse than it, al than, than it already is. So, I'll eat. And then wait to see what happens afterwards. All right, I'll see you uh, at the next transition point. Well, the few remaining minutes of uh, August 28th, it is 23 hours and 48 minutes into the day. I've got some work to do before we get down to the YouTube stroll. I came in for my observation, but uh, uh, it was too muggy up to do anything, and... Uh, I have to wait a couple hours before I bring in the next bit of information uh, from the satellite. Uh, I don't want to do it too early. So I thought I'd get this done. I'd get the uh, offloading of clips from the ride vlog. I lost a bunch of clips. I lost uh, clips from the 23rd of June all the way to... Uh, 
July 9th. July 10th uh, was kind of a, a, a wipeout. Uh, I was doing a test to sort of see uh, how things could work out in terms of uh, when I was when, if I ever have to do a rain vlog again. But I'm not looks like I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. But uh, nonetheless, uh, that still remains a, a an option that, that you know for myself in terms of. Uh, What can and can't be done. Oh, let me just get this set up here for a minute. Plug the uh, device into uh, the system. There we go. Is the uh, the SD chip? We can get the videos hooked up. Here we go. And select all and copy. And Lionel Bond was in, uh, as we could say, rare form again. And this is August 28th today, so. So that will be included in here. He modified his his issue with uh, religion, uh, stating that religion is something that man kind of creates, but is not something that God creates necessarily. And he pointed out, which is also true, that in many religions, rape is a form of prayer. <laughs> Uh, and I don't mean to chuckle at this, but it sounds absurd, but the world itself is fundamentally absurd. It doesn't have... The things we think in terms of the sense of reality, our sense sense and sensibility, and I'm just lining up my videos, the YouTube stroll for tonight. And, but the thing is, we believe that, that, we, that everyone should believe the way we believe. And that's not always the case. There are people out there who are bad, this whole thing, confusion over Afghanistan. But they don't seem to realize that the Taliban, all these other people, particularly if they're Sunni, are su supported, armed, and trained by the United States. You know, how do you, how do you explain to people, these, oh, our soldiers are dying. Yeah, of course. How are they dying? Who is killing them? We are. Why? Because we are arming and funding the, p the people that we call uh, the enemy. We create these wars. This was true in Vietnam. This was true in South Korea. Same, same thing in Vietnam. Same thing in uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Syria. We created the wars. And it's basically the weapons, the weapons people, the military industrial complex, who benefits. But in order to have these wars, you need to have two sides. This is the Hegelian dialectic. You need to have one side versus another. You need to have that conflict. And they believe, of course, these are the progressives who believe that progress will come out of that, that, that uh, conflict. All conflict, particularly when it's violent, produces progress. These are the progressives. This is the, these are the progressives by def definition. And so this is the world we see. We see the world constantly at war. We see soldiers being killed. And we love our troops. We love our military. Well, well okay, you love them. But uh, if you really do love them, why are you sending them off to war? Why do you support uh, the wars that get them killed? Particularly if they're not, they're not for freedom. 
And all you have to do is really look look at things carefully enough and you'll see they're not for freedom. They're there for a particular American interest. And the interest, in many cases, is completely undefined. i got my milk tea here, so... And this, you know, it, it becomes... He calls it stupidity. I call it mind-boggling. Mind-boggling how people are always marched into these, these positions. But then again, you have when you look at history, you begin to see how many people believe in, the, in, in, in Roman Catholicism. Let's not talk about Sharia right now. But how many people believe in, in, in Roman Catholicism? And look at the history of the Roman Catholic Church. And understanding that the, the Sharia law is not fundamentally different from Leviticus. Matter of fact, Sharia law comes out of, of the Talmud, it comes out of the Judaic law, it comes out of the kosher law, which comes out of Leviticus. And the thing is, the, the, the Roman Catholic Church, the Protestants, all follow within the, the, the sort of the text of Leviticus. I mean, when you see the, te the Twelve Commandments, the Twelve Commandments come from within, within inside of uh, Leviticus. And so what happens is that you, you say, well, these are things that are so horrible. Well, this is what these religions believe in. This is what people believe in. That people need to be punished. And this is why you hear the people, trust the plan, trust the plan. Well, because they're talking about God's plan and they believe that, God, uh, that Donald Trump is a prophet. And, uh, but again, again, you look, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's another analogy to this. As the person who has died uh, uh, from uh, from this uh, disaster, a flooding disaster, and the house is starting to fill with water, so he moves up to the roof and says, "God's going to save me. God's going to save me. He's praying to God, praying to God. He's going to save me." And a boat a boat comes by and says, "Come on, come on, come on! on. The water's rising. We'll, we'll take you to safety." No, 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 no! God's going to save me. God's going to save me. A helicopter comes by. Come on, we're, we're going to take you to safety. We're going we're, we're to rescue you. He says, no, 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 no! God's going to save me. He eventually drowns, gets up to the heaven and says, Well, why didn't you save me? Well, <laughs> to God, well, we sent a boat, we sent a helicopter, and you didn't want to get on. <laughs> Sometimes the miracles aren't necessarily big things. Sometimes there's something mundane that are right in front of us, or Donald Trump was right in front of us. He's not that he is, you know, the sort of prophetic guy from God, but rather he is a solution that will help us get in the right direction. He's not, but again, the American president is not supposed to be our leader. He is simply the person who helps us keep our freedom. And Donald Trump was doing that, but the thing is, if we don't pick up after that, we don't, oh, good, we go, okay, think and go back to our stupor, then nothing's going to happen because he'll be up there all by himself. And this is what happened after he got elected. He was there by himself. Nobody stood up with him. And so this is what we saw. This, these, this is the result of, uh, of the American people not standing up with Donald Trump. And so here we are, you know, what, what, uh, less than two years later, in, in the mess that we're in. And this mess is now global. It's not, so I'm in Canada, but the, the mess is still here. The, the whole woke aspect of things is still here. These people aren't woke, they're idiots. They're as dusk, yes, you define, define, they're idiots and possessed. These people are possessed. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. I've got uh, my YouTube stroll uh, waiting for me. I've got my uh, milk tea. This is a little bit of a chocolate version of it. Uh, I've got, I put some, uh, some nice chocolate ice cream in there. Uh, and it's uh, made it very, very nice. <laughs> so, I will see you... Uh, Probably tomorrow around the same time. Uh, I probably won't come back uh, in the night uh, when I finish. Uh, but I just end up going to bed and seeing what happens there.